What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going on the route of testing viral TikToks that have to do with sneakerhead life hacks. I've been seeing these TikToks going viral of people doing stuff with sneakers that are like literally some random stuff and I want to try them out myself. These videos are getting millions and millions of views and thousands, hundreds of thousands of likes so we're going to try it ourselves. I literally just made a TikTok and thankfully I have my username and we're going to be testing these and making our own at the same time. Now for this we're going to need some supplies. We're going to be testing about four or five different TikToks. I'm excited to see uh, how this goes. TikTok is a whole nother world and people are getting growing crazy on there. So we're going to be trying it today. See what happens. We're going to head to the store, grab a few little items and things that we need in order to make these. Let's go head to the store. So it's raining today. So we have to go ahead. We have to take the truck. Let's go ahead and start it up. All right, we just made it over to Michael's to get a few things. It's pouring rain out, so we're not gonna film that much, but when we get in there, we'll show you some of the essentials we're getting. We're basically getting some scissors and some other little thumbtacks and stuff like that. Got everything you need let's go ahead head back to the house and get started on these hacks we made it back and it's time to test the first TikTok. i'm gonna go ahead and play it on the screen right here and see if we can make this happen This one, they say you have to download an app called Philips Hue. So I'm gonna download that right now. It's basically a color changing app. Grab your favorite sneaker, which mine is a Jordan 1. This is Jordan 1 High UNC. But you take this app and you go ahead and drag the colors around like this and it's going to change the color of the sneaker. Ready for it? Three, two, one. We're gonna go ahead and drag it around. See the colors changing? Look at that. Let's go ahead and make our own TikTok right now. All right guys, so we're gonna make the first TikTok here. I need some help because I have to control this on my phone. reality this is fake whoever did that first one didn't edit just similar to this it's basically an easy editing trick you can do it with like any color so basically like i can take an m&m all i have to do in my editing is pick a specific color like this red and i can go ahead and just change it based off of like i just change it to any color that i want to it's basically changing the hue or the saturation of the item so that was just like a little dumb one that i saw and i was like we can easily remake this if you know what you're doing so let's go ahead and move to the next one Ow. The next one up, what you need is a pair of shoes, a shoe box, and some thumbtacks. I'm gonna go ahead and play that TikTok right now. Basically what this TikTok is, is making a sneaker display with the box that you have, so you don't have to buy like an expensive display. Then you see I have like a nicer setup here. You can do it without that, and you don't have to put big holes in the wall because stuff like that, you have to put like a pretty solid hole in the wall, so this can kind of save your wall. So let's go ahead and try this out. Let's see where we can do this. All right, I'm gonna take this off here. I'm just gonna take four thumbtacks. These are like two bucks for a hundred of them. I'm gonna grab the four thumbtacks. I'm gonna take the box, and I'm just gonna basically put it in the corners. Now, I feel like this isn't strong enough to hold up a shoe, but we're gonna find out. Put this here, I'm gonna put the thumbtack one. Make sure that's level. Put the thumbtack in two. Four. So that's four holes, four thumbtacks. Now let's see how durable this is. It actually seems pretty solid. We're going to take the sneaker and put it in here. Hopefully this doesn't fall. Looks like it's actually holding pretty well. Put in both like this. You can have them um, basically sitting there like that. Nope, that probably won't work. What I saw a lot of people do is they put one there and they put one on top. That's kind of like an easy sneaker display. If you don't have like an actual display or like a shelf and whatnot, you can just use thumbtacks, probably things you have around your house. So that's a good one right there. It actually worked better than I thought. It's kind of slouching a little bit, but I mean, it's a heavy shoe. So I would kind of expect that. Before we move on to the next ticket, TikTok hack. If you guys didn't see the last video, we're doing a $350 cash giveaway. All you have to do for that is go to that link in the description. The rules are on that video. Basically, you have to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and leave a comment on that video. You'll get $350 cash completely free. So go ahead and go ahead and check that link in the description. It'll be in the top of the description. 
Next hack up is going to be one that you might, it might be the thumbnail right here. We're gonna take a pair of these Jordan 1 off-whites. Check that out, dead stock pair. We're going for about four to $5,000 on apps like StockX. These are flames, but these are also fake. I've used these for a few videos and I wanna go ahead and do a hack that I'm gonna show you guys right now. not really like a hack for TikTok. I, I actually want to make a TikTok out of it. It's basically where people cut the top of a Jordan 1 high and make it a Jordan 1 low because they want to have that look for a shoe that is not in a low. So we're going to do it with this right here. I think this is going to turn out looking crazy. So we got to gather our materials. I need a pair of fabric scissors, which we have a pair of like Cutco scissors. And all we have to do is just cut the top off. What we're trying to do is basically turn this into this, make a low out of a high. So let's go and get started. We have a nice pair of thick Cutco scissors. These can cut like pennies. So hopefully this can cut through this fabric. Now we're just basically gonna follow this line here. I th I'm trying to think the best route. Yeah, I think that should be the best route if we cut right along here and uh, see how this goes. This is gonna be, if this was a real pair, I'd be crying right now, but thankfully it's not. So let's go ahead and just cut across the line. Yep, we're getting through. It's working pretty easily with these scissors. Basically just cut across the line. Now a lot of people have done this with real shoes, but I just wanted to go ahead and do it with a fake pair and uh, see how it turns out just to be safe. Make sure I'm not cutting anything. Wow, this, this is gonna hurt. Ready for it? There it, where is it? There it is, wow. That, that actually, whoa. These are actually gas, they need to release these. But do we have to cut the tongue? Bro, look at that. Oh my, you lost the 85s. These are actually a pretty good pair of fakes. If you guys want to compare, this is a real pair. Like these are actually pretty decent. Oh, look how. Bro, I might have did something here. What if I cut my real pair? Dang, that'd be crazy. Nah, I don't think I could. I love these too much. So I'm, I'm curious, should we cut the tongue? Cause that tongue is kind of like long. So there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and lace these up and see how they look. And then we're gonna make a TikTok out of it. And uh, hopefully we go viral. Oh, TikTok viral. So the tongue is really super long, so we're just gonna go ahead and cut at this red line here. We have to kind of take this off because it literally wouldn't even fit like it should. Now we gotta get these on feet because these look insane and uh, see how they look. So is this the first pair of low off-white Jordan 1 Chicago's? Probably not. Somebody's probably made a custom, but these are probably the first fake pair of off-white Chicago customs. These actually turn out pretty cool. I actually like how they look when I cut the tongue off, but it, I'm glad these are not a real pair because that would really hurt. But let's go ahead and move on to the next TikTok. Next TikTok up, we're gonna show you is I think from Cool Kicks. I've seen them do it a few times. Go ahead and roll it real quick. Now for this one, what you really need is some plastic wrap and a heat gun. You could probably do this with a hair dryer, but I don't think it'll work as well. So I actually got a heat gun and hopefully this is the right type of uh, plastic wrap because there's some of like shrink wrap that I don't think looks as good. It's all kind of like bunched up, but let's see how this looks. I think this should be right though. Uh, this is the stuff that I don't, it's not exactly what I wanted, but we're gonna make it work. Hopefully it uh, sticks together pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this out here and basically, leave it out hopefully it doesn't get all bunched up we're gonna take a sneaker and i think we just have to kind of double wrap it up and then heat over it it'll kind of lock it in place all right so i'm gonna cut this top part off that's kind of messed up already and make sure that this is like clean and i'm gonna cut this back end off and i think this has like a cutter pull that off and i'm basically gonna i don't know how to do this properly because they have like actual machines at the other place so they obviously can do it better but let's see I think I'm gonna have to get a smaller shoe because this one it's, it might be a little bit too big. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can make this work. Not really working too well. Oh, here we go. We're getting something. There's one side that's kind of heated on. Oh, nope, it's going going wrong. Started to burn the inside, but the outside actually is starting to look decent. The inside got a little bit too hot, but like when you look at it like this, it's not too bad. We're going to try it a few more times to see if we can get it right. All right, 
So I think that actually came out a little bit better as you can see, I was actually really close. The plastic that they use is a little bit harder of a plastic. This is what sneaker stores typically use. You can't tell, a little bit thicker. It's hard to tell, but like when you crumple this up, it like balls up, this doesn't. So it's a little bit harder for plastic and stores have been doing this so many times that they know how to do it. But I think this actually came out better than I thought it would. I don't know if I could heat it up more and get some of these wrinkles out, but I might try a little bit just to see. Looks like it's just doing it more and obviously I don't want to burn the shoes so I would not try this at home unless you know what you're doing and you can properly handle something like that just because you don't want to burn your shoes and ruin your shoes over something like this. This is a way to protect your shoes if you're maybe storing them for a long time. This is why people do that so like if people come over and they touch it. It's good for sneaker stores but like when it's at your house you don't really have to worry about people coming and putting their Cheeto fingers on it but I think for this purpose we did I give myself about a five and a half out of 10. All right, next TikTok has to do with sneaker cleaning. Now I'm gonna play the clip real quick right here. This is a small one, actually it didn't go viral, but I just found it. Basically, they're saying that using household items to clean a sneaker, you don't have to buy any special products. We're gonna test that using a household item like a toothbrush and some dish soap. So we're gonna just bring this toothbrush out real quick. And this is basically the bottom of these shoes. Very light, it's not really that dirty, but we'll see what happens. We're basically just gonna pour some dish soap in here. My preferred is to use Rejuvenator now. This is sponsored by Rejuvenator. Rejuvenator is the, you know, single cleaning products that I've always used, and you guys know that. And if you guys use code Harrison, you get 10% off. Now this code only lasts to the end of the month, and the code is gone forever. So go ahead and use that if you guys want any sneaker cleaning products, you guys are gonna see how good this stuff is. You get three different brushes with this kit. You get the advanced solution. They also have sneaker cleaning wipes, so I'm gonna show you guys in a second how this works. Now, we're gonna take this and just uh, kinda see how this goes. Swirl this up. Not getting many bubbles here, but all right, we're getting some bubbles and uh, let's see if this works. And let's see how we did. It looks like nothing really came off. It looks like it did just before. Uh, it kind of seemed like it was gonna do that. Now, I, this is essentially, a, like this is a smaller brush, but I just don't think the soap has a, a solution in it to be able to do it properly. So now, we're gonna go ahead, show you guys how it works with our shoe, and we're gonna get some fresh water to show you. So All right, so we're gonna take the other shoe, which is dirtier, and we're gonna go ahead and take this Rejuvenator kit right here that has the advanced solution. What I like to do is go ahead and pour in the solution a little bit, pour a little bit of the solution into the water, and then we have three different brushes here. We have the stiff brush, soft brush, and then the medium brush. Now I think a medium brush will get this done. You don't need anything crazier than that. I'm going to dip this brush in then I'm going to go ahead and uh, pour some of the solution on, dip it again and then to get it started like I did with the toothbrush, same thing it was just kind of going in circles. Now I'm going to go ahead and just go at this and see how it looks. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Maybe we have to go to the stiff brush but let's see how it looks. All right let's go ahead and wipe it off. See how we're looking. This looks crispy brand new right here. That looks brand new, it came off directly on the top. Now this part seems like it's a little bit more and it looks like it's scuffed. We're gonna go ahead and use the stiffer brush and see how that comes. And look, there we go, starting to come off. I'm just lightly going at this. I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole rest of the bottom of the shoe and see how it comes out. All right, so look at the before and after, after some light cleaning, taking all the grime off the bottom. Again, use code Harrison for 10% off on Rashubnator.com. The code is going away soon. That was more of a funny one to go ahead and try just because I knew I wanted to show you guys the Rashubnator product because it's what I trust to clean my shoes. That's an improving way to clean your shoes, so uh, go ahead, check. They got all sorts of products down below if you got super dirty shoes. All right guys, so we're actually picking this up the next day. We're gonna go ahead and do a few more because I actually just went ahead and posted some TikToks. I was actually making them. Turns out to be more fun than I thought. And I posted one video about two hours ago and it's kind of not for TikTok's sake blowing up, but I had zero followers and within two and a half hours, I'm at 23,000 views on the one that you saw at the beginning. Take that out for copyright. Basically this one with the color changing set at 23,000 views, which is kind of crazy because I had literally zero followers. So we're gonna make a few more. One of them is going to be this levitating sneaker. Now I already made the TikTok, here it is. self-explanatory from that. This is a levitating sneaker thing that I got from an online website. And basically you just kind of like put the sneaker up here and uses the weight and magnets in order to like make it levitate. And it basically just spins. 
spins just like this. Very simple, it's just basically magnets. That was a cool one, it's being complicated right now. There's another one that somebody did, which was like a height beast check, where essentially they showed like the different shoes that they have, and it was kind of like a drip check or height beast check. So I wanna make one with a couple pairs of shoes that I have, but I'm using an editing trick that I've used before. I'm gonna edit it on the computer, essentially where I like shake the camera, hold on. It's basically, I take a shoe, I'm taking a video of it, and then I shake it like this, and then when I grab the next pair of shoes, I go ahead and take that one as well, shake it to start it back up, and I cut in between. I'm gonna film something like that really quick and then you guys can see so I won't run out of time after. Here's what that TikTok looks like real quick. filming this my current follower count is 423 24,000 views now I've not shouted it out at all one of my other videos is actually blowing up now it's at 1800 views or the one that I just did on this I have not shouted this out on any social media so it's kind of cool we'll see where this goes I can't really find any other TikToks as of now that I want to try but if you guys have any down below let me know because I want to try and uh, see if I can elevate to the next level because it's fun just try things out but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you did enjoy if you did please leave a like down below I'll see you guys next time this is Harrison signing out Thank you.